The other feature that they've added into ADS itself, which is a really nice welcome feature, is a project template. In other words, you can take a project, lay it out exactly how you want it to be, and then use that as the starting point for other projects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up a new project, just choose a preset. I'm going to bring in some files, bring in, for example, our DVC logo. I could maybe put in some color bars. I could bring in a sound file from somewhere. I could take the clip and put it onto the timeline, put the sound underneath it. So make up a project with different clips and lay out the timelines and so on. Rename the timeline. So I'm going to rename this the main track. And let's change the names on the audios. I'm also going to pop into the sequence settings and fiddle with the channel map. I'm not going to explain what the channel map does. We explain it in various videos and on our tutorials. So I've set it up in a sort of standard way that I like to have every timeline. I like every timeline to have these tracks named in a certain way. I'll always want to start off with the DVC logo and put the sound in. Basically, I'm setting up a project here, which I then want to use as a template for another project. And I want all my projects to start like this. How do you do it? Actually, very simple now. You get a file, save as template. It prompts you to give it a name. So let's call this well, basic one. You have an option of where to put it. So you can actually choose to put it in a folder or make up other folders. I'll just leave it as it is. Bang. OK, I've now saved that as a template. And then let's say start up a new project. And this time I'm going to use a template. I skipped by this earlier on, and I'll come back to how I managed to get these in folders as well a little bit later. But now I'm just going to go to the heading that says Project Template and choose Basic 1, which is the thing I just made up. I'm going to click OK. And hey presto, I've got a new project which has got those files I wanted in the bin. It's got the tracks named how I wanted them to be. These things are on the timeline already. If I go to the sequence settings and the channel map, you can see the channel map is set up how I like it to be. We have people, for example, who do parachute jumps and they video the parachute jump and then at the end of the jump, they want to give the person that's paid for the jump a video of what happened. What they typically do will have a whole video already laid out with a start and an end and some credits and a few other bits and pieces and they just want to throw in the video of them coming out of the aeroplane, top and tail it, and then make them a file or a DVD. This lets you do that. You can have a template with everything already in there and all linked in, and all you're going to do is whack in a file, and it'll come up with everything already there, and then you just put in the bits that you want to change. It's something that we've been asked for an awful lot, and it's something that they've now put into EDIUS 8.1. Now, I made a template there by just going Save as Template. You may have noticed that when I started off a new project, actually you have the option to choose any old project you've got somewhere on the hard drive. So you know, I could just go off somewhere and find a project and it would use that as a template. There's a couple of settings to go with it. So if I go up to the settings heading and then system and open up the project presets, you can see here I've got my list of ordinary project presets and here I've got a list of templates. And down here you have well, probably the most important thing, where are the templates going to be made? It will default to the C drive. I always like to change it to be my video drive. So it's actually going to be in my EDIUS projects folder. And then it creates a project template folder. And inside of that, each of these templates go in there. So I'd make sure I change that to the video drive. The name down here, that just means that when you make up a new template by doing that save as that I did earlier, that's the name it starts with. And then you can put basic one, basic two, basic three, or whatever you feel like. Your only other consideration is where are these clips? So, you know, I've just brought these in. I just linked to these clips. They were somewhere on my hard drive. If I just quickly check one out, you can see there it's still where it was linked to. It's still in my DVC tutorial folder. Now, if you want to make a template and have all the files that you need for that template with the template, then the best thing to do is grab hold of the clips that you're using, right click and say, transfer to project folder. Up pops the little H and what EDIUS does is copy those files into the project folder. Imagine this is a project I'm about to make a template from. Make sure you've copied them into the project folder. Then do a save as template. Let's call this basic do. You notice it took a little bit longer and then if I start up a new project Use the basic to template. 
up it comes and now this time the files that I'm using are actually in my project folder so as long as you make sure you've transferred your clips into the project folder so they're inside the actual project for the the one you're making a template out of when you make the template it'll copy those into the template folder and then copy those again when you make a new project and the important difference there is basically you've got some files in there where are they are they just wandering around somewhere on your hard drive or are they in the project folder well if you make sure you've transferred them in, into the project folder first before you make the template then every time you make a new project it'll make copies of those in the new project folder but apart from that that's it that's the basics of templates it's actually pretty easy now the other thing I mentioned that I would lost over is this the ability to split your project presets up into folders which is basically a byproduct of having templates now all I did here was I made up some project presets and then I went to where my projects are saved which is on the C drive users your name application data roaming grass valley edius 8 project presets and here I then made up some folders so having made up that David folder when I go and make a new project you'll notice there's a David folder. There's nothing in it because it's empty. The next thing I have to do is grab hold of some presets and either copy them or move them into the David folder. There's no way of doing it inside the project settings. You have to do it entirely manually. We're going to do this on all of our systems just to make it nice and easy for people to find different settings. But yeah, basically you can now folderize them to try and make it easier for you to find particular presets. Folderize, what a great word that isn't. And those are sort of the new features that you've got inside of EDIUS itself.